Thank you for joining me. This is Supreme Fuzzler, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. This is episode 10 of the series, and we're going to be trying to continue and get this done. I don't know your time with this, though, so it's been fun, man. Let, we just developed a new... Oh, the new system, Play System 4 by Bonnie has been released. Awesome, perfect. Developed sequels, what I was thinking. <clears throat> we just developed a new engine, the future engine. In the last episode, we got I don't even know Morty finished, and then we defended our butts, created Global Warfare, Lamau, and Mafia Zombies. Cool. Now that the, the Xbox One and the Inbox, rather the Inbox One and the PlayStation 4 is out. <coughs> yeah. See, Knights of Lore has been one of my continuing ones, and I'm going to do it now. Knights of Lore 4. The Guardian. Because the Guardian awoke in the last one. It's on everyone, it's an RPG action. PC, of course, but now I'm gonna buy a million. That's fine. For Inbox One, it's a million probably for Play System 4. New, new engine, new setup, new sequel. And thank you for joining me, guys, by the way. I'm hoping we're gonna have a good one. I've been thinking about the Knights of Lore because it's one of my favorites. Now we got Interactive Story and moral choices as well as online play and save the cloud. New things, new money. Um, you think I know a lot about this considering how many of them I've made, but no. That looks okay to me because it's an RPG. Marketing. Magazines and them. I was like, I want to hype this game up because this is going to be the fourth installment of a long-term series that we've been making. Hi, this is Andrew McNamara, McNara from Game Informant. I got word that Storm Fractor is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Of course. What is your expectation on the regarding the success of Nice Lore 4 The Guardian? Do you think the game will be well received? Hype the game! Because, man, I think it's going to be a best seller. Because, like, 9.25 was Lights of War 3. Like, that was one of my best. Alright, so I know that AI is up. Dalek should be up. Yeah, like, it's hard to say because it's an RPG. Unless all of these are important. I want, like, this. Yeah, that works. And now we have dynamic environments. And simple body language. Dope. We're gonna have a really good game with this Nine Nights of Lore, and it's gonna be on the new Xbox One. And it's gonna be one of the fucking startle titles on it. Not the release title, but one of the first titles on both of them. Oh, Inbox 360 is gonna be taken off the market. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, I'm starting to develop stuff for the other one. World design's important. Sounds a little down. Buy surround sound still. Graphic of sound down. Realistic weather, yeah. So glad we have these things. I'm hoping for a really good game, guys. Give me what I want. Daddy needs it. Sorry. Came out Mountain Dew tonight, which is way worse than I was drinking yesterday. I have a super special awesome shirt. Amazing. Go for it, guys. Get those bugs out. Nice little four. Oops. And Box of 360 is no longer supported. Released four games for the platform and earned 41 million on it. I guess there's no slouch, that's no fun for sure. Bugs, there they are. Oh, market has normalized with no strong components. New record in design, that's what I want to see. Level up those things. Oh, no loading screens? Oof. People love that. And the first reviews, please be good. Okay, seven. That's not amazing, but first sequel, that's not bad, I guess, right, guys? Damn, that was not what I was hoping for. 
<sighs> That's a pure seven. A pure seven game. Damn. Man. Well. What are you gonna do sometimes? Nothing you can do about it. Oh man, I got so much stuff I can get. I need advanced body language and no loading screens. I want both. Um, <clears throat> I should might as well get that because I can. Not selling at least. Excuse me, remember a while ago, Supreme Buzzer from Serum Factory made very bold remarks about their end game. Then in development game, Nexus R4, The Guardian, predicting it would be uber successful. Now the Mega Asylum consists of the Super Professor should have been more careful as the final product doesn't match the hype expectations. Overall, it's an effect, negative effect on sales. A lot of 7 out of 7 game ain't. See, it already made over 500,000 sales. Like, come on, guys. There we go. Analysis. Level design seems to be quite important. Play system for RPG, great. Good. Once you get that done, and you get that done. Should we brand some new topic. Virtual pet, such a weird one. Transport. There's so many. Oh. Cooking? Weird. So many strange ones. Let's just develop a new game. Keep going with what I was doing. Um, how? I don't know. How about a cyberpunk mature action adventure RPG? Yeah, action RPG, cyberpunk mature PC. Excuse me, Inbox One, PlayStation Four, medium, and it's be like. City of Lights. Oh, and then pick the feature engine. There you go. Large games now. Good. I'm definitely do that. Be nice if Lore 4 isn't doing too bad. Gameplay a little down. Starting this a little down. I got everything I want. Yeah, because some online plays now when I got to set multiplayer. Which is awesome, guys. Awesome. We're doing really well in here. Dude, come on. Go, go, go. Almost a million there. Let's go for four. Yeah, I guess it's not the best sales, but it's still the better that I've ever had. Hmm, dialogues. And level design. And I a little bit down. Nice Lore 4, which was recently released by Storm Factory, racked over a million in sales. What was it, a 39 seat? It may not be a number 8, but it's still pretty good. What next sequel should I make? I should make a sequel to something next. Oh. Isn't that a sequel to something else? Hmm. Yeah, because Malcolm spied. Nice Lore 2, the damned. That was a 5.25. But nice lower one was a 9.5. Wow. So many games I suck at naming. Sneaky Crawlers is one of my first games. No wonder they wanted it. Let's do this again. An ultimate history strategy. Like. But casual on it, maybe. Small order to get fans have asked that we release the source code or one of our older games of the Supreme Engine. They would certainly satisfy these fans, but given that we worked hard on the engine, we could also sell the licenses and make some money. We could simply refuse the request completely, also. Give it away. Like, I've already beyond that engine. That's not even the last engine. A recent decision to give away the engine is an outstanding response. It's gained 15,000 fans. It only cost us 4,000. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. Sound up. Yeah. We're going about there. City of bots. Alright, good cyberpunk or your RPG. Like. Oh, that was a lot of 
people. 150,000. 75th place in the booths. I'm better this year, guys. That's the highest we've ever done. My slow forward's almost done. So 1.2 million units. It's pretty good. This system 3 is going to be taken off the market soon. Excuse me. Looking good. Get those bugs. Do it. Hype's high. on both of them. Good. I can only hope. Popper to play. And this lower four was off the market with 1.2 million sending 13 million in fucking money. Aw yeah. The system 3 is no longer supported. I released 9 games making 79 million on it. Definitely got a lot more on that. Yes, nine. So we want to see what we're gonna get. One nine, nine. Can't wait for the sequel. Okay. I don't know what I'm planning to release that. I guess once I get a new engine, but that's gonna be a bit. What the hell's wrong with you? Give me a seven. After all that. What the hell's wrong with them? Oh no, loading screens. Like a small, yeah, that. Skyward so City of Boss, which was recently released, 500,000. Fast. How high was it originally? 18. <coughs> Pretty quick work. And I did a million in sales already for City of Boss. Like, it's already past City of Wow. Nice lore 4 has nothing on City of Boss. Graphics seem to be quite important in this type of game. Okay. Well, I guess I should develop a sequel to something else I was thinking. Um... No, that's right, I wanted to do one of my original originals. Yeah, Revolution of 1700s. An alternate history strategy, casual. PG, does anything say good? Casual. I'm just gonna do casual. I don't want it to be a big game, in reality. Um... Um... New 1750s. Because after you did the revolution in the 1700s, these things happened. And a medium, and everyone. I think I made money, I made 44,000. I was gonna do the research for well, do it after this game. Ooh, Nevento is revealed their upcoming game console. The Nevento Swap, the device seems to function both as a portable console and as a home console. When the swap is removed from its docking station. Unique controller pads called button pads are attached to the side of the screen and turn the console into a handheld device. The reaction announcement is a mix as many voice concerns. The device might not have a clear audience and it might fail to appeal to both casual and poor gamers. Others praise the unique nature of the device and point out that Vento has frequently managed to land successes with odd devices in the past. The swap is set to hit markets early next year. Honestly, the Switch was much more impressive than I anticipated. I did really well. In my opinion, I think I enjoyed what ended up becoming the Switch. It's just really fun. I'm doing alright though, guys. Look at that. City of Bots did really well. Now I have lots of money. That down. AI up. Make a decent sequel to the old, well, my original game, the third game I ever made. I should make a sequel to They Can't Even Defend Our Butts, just because they came for our butts. Say. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm not sure if sound would be important in that situation, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
do do off the market selling is two million nine hundred thousand units and getting thirty two million in sales. Fifty million now. So tons of research points. Rack that up. Swap was released. Oh, no new records, but still. Yeah. People got me a lot of money. Special training available. I like a specialization. I think, like, hella. Anyways, researching. have to be a failure. <sighs> At least gave me a seven. Oh, whatever. A weird. A weird change up. Okay, okay. It's weirdly divisive. Uh, got some people on vacation. They're gonna get mad. Right, it's just a new topic. It's because Topics too is why. I'm gonna just do a random training for my main guy. Might as well. Got a 17 spider though. I mean, it still sells well because it's my company now. At this point, this company just releases stuff. Recently released Nintendo Swap Consoles caused an unusual social media swarm. It's also started when a consumer licked one of the game cartridges and reported that it tasted extremely bad. Thousands of consumers have repeated the experiment, tasting the cartridges, and probably the, the results on social media. Further encourages others to do the same. And then does not push out public officials soon confirm that game cartridges for the swap are coated with denodium benzoate, non toxin bittering agent. This is apparently done to discourage children from buying on and swallowing the fairly small cartridges. Next year, consoles over console stuff have been more positive than the taste of this cartridge, and swap is turning out to be quite popular with gamers around the globe. Indeed. As I said, things dope. History strategy casual is okay. Level design, inbox one strategy bad. Everyone great though. Okay. And once everyone gets back, we'll do a new thing. Over a million in sales, good. Finish up me, good. Okay. Let's just straight up. Oh, we can develop large games down. I want to have the swap, and I'm going to stick with the PA System 4. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Because I really like the Switch, personally, now that I have one. So I'm definitely going to start developing a lot more games on the swap, rather than this... the other stuff. I guess I have the millions. I should always buy a large booth now. 
It'll guarantee me a spot in the top 100 always. Six hundred thousand people did not get a top ten hundred. Yes, if I had a large booth, I definitely would. Excuse me. Excuse me, gosh. This is Kelson Glenn from Gamers. Got worse learn practice working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Agree. Many readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development. The new pirate action adventure, can you tell us whether there's a game of user versus market engine or gameplay? I have no idea. Engine. Don't tell me. In a recent interview, he said it was engine. It seems that other interview inter professionals agree with this. Good. Seventeen fifties is off the market, so one point five million and made sixteen million. It's pretty good for a game that didn't get too high of like got yeah, six point two five. Wait, is that still a profit? Yes, yeah, so that was still a fourteen million profit in my game. It's not twenty nine million. Even nice more, give me a ten million. So graphics all the way up and world design a little bit less. Sound a little more down. Bam. Get this pirate game done. Look at that. Oh my god, 400 tech. Look at that tech. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's what I want to see, boys and girls. Mmm. Jesus. The company by the name of Rise VR has developed a virtual reality headset which promises to finally start the path towards true 3D immersion. The new headset called Visaurus Visaurus looks like a pair of giant ski goggles and provides a large field of vision as well as near perfect motion tracking. First test left some players feeling a little motion sick, but with the right game, this technology can certainly deliver a new level of immersion. Virtual support is a new thing. That's fine. I've yet to get, I'm planning to try to get into Half-Life Alex and do some VR, but I'm yet to ever have a VR headset or anything. So I'm not really sure how it is. I watched some good ones. Ah, my teeth hurt right now. Hmm. Boom, over 500. Boom, records. Mm, beautiful. That guy's gonna make more money. Immersive storytelling and dynamic world. I definitely want those things. Ugh. Oh, I want that. V5. Shit. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that. Do good, crabs. Yes. Oh, I got a 10. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, yes, beautiful. Oh, yes. So amazing. That's right. Shoot. Um. Come on. Oops. No, not that. Fine contract work. That was an easy one. Wow. And after our million sales already. Excitement around the game seems down down no end. Market is normalized. Get these contract works out of the way just so I can get some research points. I want to get to. Um. I want to get to 150, but I don't think so. 38k, 24k, and then this. Recently released a sequel to their game Dolphins, the newest game in the series, called it Crabs, was met with outstanding responses. 
with a new engine and made it really awesome. 9.5, it's my best game ever. I've been playing crabs and I've tremendously enjoyed the experience. I was positively surprised to see the level of polish that went into the underlying game engine. Effort really paid off. Really, a game can captivate you as much as crabs. <laughs> really, as a game as much as crabs captivate you. Okay, so this is the easiest one. I'll go for it. I know crabs recently got five million. Ah, oh, damn. Release sound seems to be quite important. Swap and action good. Play system four and everyone's good. Awesome. There's my one fifty that I need. Get this. And got me another 140 thou. God, it's amazing. Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. It's also the top game. It was a number one game. Oof. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> units. Jeez. Get that research done. More than 250,000 fans. Awesome. Oh God, stop doing that. Neat. Do just do a regular new game. I'm just gonna develop a thief game. Thief. Adventure. RPG. Action RPG. Hmm. RPG. Industry action. No. Adventure. Okay combo. Great combo. Okay, so I did an RPG adventure then. PC, swap, and a pay system 4. Feature engine. <clears throat> Large. Um. Man. Uh. After this, I should get enough research points for one more thing, and that's what I want. And I want to develop another new engine. So with a large booth, I mean, 180. So much money right now. Gosh, it's amazing. Down the engine a little bit, a little more story and quests. And gameplay all the way up. Yeah. I'll even do some marketing. A small campaign, I'll spend half, half a million for that. Why do I care? I have 180 million right now. I'm rich in this game. Like this, Crabs sold 9.5 million units and gave me 134 million sales. This is the most money I've ever made in a game. Who will be taken off the market? I forgot you were even still on the market. It was neat that you didn't get taken off before the other two. I mean, this is gonna be huge considering I just had a number one game. And now I'm like, I'll release another game. 1.9 million? 49. So far. Amazing. A uh, little less dialogues. AI all the way up. Yeah, here we go. Considering, because AI is important as heck for a thief game. I have a smart AI to be able to make it a viable thief game. Yeah, I'm gonna get 80 research points at least so I can do another thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that stuff. Woo is no longer supported. I released two games and made 16 million. I clicked that way too fast. Um, sound all the way up. Graphing a little down. Um, Joshua, you go check out for James' thing. Yeah. God, the hype's huge. Kind of makes sense, though, considering... Oh, wow, I didn't even notice the strong audience mature. I should have done the mature game then. Oh. This guy's only going to go on vacation. Hype, jeez. Maybe I should have done a campaign. Excuse me, gosh. Go 
for it. combo in one of those, but gosh, you got it done. Bam. Celebrity voice acting. Wow. So many people need to go on vacation. You need your oof, immersive storytelling, I think is what I'm going to get. Yeah. Oh, dynamic world. Damn, I'm all over those. But, immersive storytelling. First reviews. Oh, uh, such huge hype. Which is enormous hype. Wow. Wow. 2.5 game. That's... That's bad. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Damn. Thief RPG Adventure is a good combination. Level design seems to be quite important. The genre match squad RPG is great. Swap everyone's great. And Thief everyone's great. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of the game. Did I not do that? Hmm. Oh no. They got too tired at the end, probably. Shoot. Well, gotta create a new engine. Because I gotta get that and that. Those are different. Well, whatever. Immersive storytelling. Advanced body language. No loading screens. Yeah, I feel like I should get more stuff. We're going for it, but still. Um. Nine engine. This is the ninth one, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Let's get this one done, everyone. Heavily masks got such a huge downer. So much hype over this game that because it releases on the heels of crabs, the best game I've ever released. And they're like, oh, they're only gonna release a second game right over back to back, and it's gonna be great. And it's like, no. Developer can only do so much. It apparently just like threw its best people on crabs and threw its worst people on masks. Sales. At least you have the level 9 engine now. For V3 and 3D graphics, is definitely going to be a huge boost. Still got enough money to not care. Go for the large boot. So, only 200,000 units, but made 3 million in sales. Level 9 is complete. Since you on vacation, since you on vacation. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna leave it here. We made a new engine again, just like at the end of last episode. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a lot more research before I make my next one, because I definitely don't want to have only like three new things again. But I was like, I got that version three, I mean version five of the graphics, and I was like, I gotta use that, because that's gonna definitely make a difference. And that way I can make a sequel to Nice of Lore 4, and City of Bots, and honestly, all the games I just made, all those games now can have a sequel thanks to this new engine, which is going to be great. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun here. I think it's been great. Sorry, I look over here again, because my recording is, where it's easy. Um, thank you for joining me. This is Supreme Fuzzer, and I hope you guys have a good day, and goodbye!